Black Tuesday, the Wall Street crash that catalyzed the Great Depression, took place on October 29, 1929. In October of 1987, markets across the world plummeted. Even this year, the autumn has been plagued by big drops in stock prices. Now, is the timing coincidental, or is there a relationship between the stock market and weather? Here to answer that question is Dr. Tony Tang from Wilfrid Laurier University. We experienced sunshine and bright blue sky for the funeral procession for Corporal Nathan Cirillo. In fact, the weather was very reminiscent to what we saw on Friday when Corporal Cirillo traversed the highway of heroes. But I want to talk about the crowd, the hundreds of people that lined James Street on both sides as the funeral procession made its way through. One of the things that struck me the most from today was the impromptu rendition of O Canada just as the funeral procession was starting. Saturday was a stormy event across the country as there was snow from west to east. In Alberta, roads resembled ice rinks due to freezing rain, while western regions saw heavy snow that is expected to continue today. Fall and winter across the country is marked by shorter days and steadily decreasing daylight. The lack of sunshine means insufficient levels of vitamin D for many Canadians, and it's a growing problem. For example, November 2014 saw a big snowstorm through parts of the eastern United States, and that led to a 4% bump in natural gas prices. We end in snowy Newfoundland, where wind brought warnings to the island. Wind gusts reached 110 kilometers an hour in Cornerbrook. Water levels on the west coast were 50 centimeters above normal as the wind coincided with high tide. Stay with us here at the Weather Network. We'll get you set up for your work week forecast. Big drops in temperature coming for Western Canada with some active weather for the east.